All right, so today's episode, we're going to black out the chrome on my whip. So a quote for this from the shop is like 800. I ordered a kit. It was only 100. So come on. We're going to give you a quick tutorial. And we're going to black my baby out. I ordered a kit online. It was only 100 bucks to cover pretty much all the trim I needed. But in practice, I really didn't like it, man. It was, it was a ton of work. And the results went up to par. I mean, I deleted hours of footage. But, man. It was like after I did all this work, it was as if the pieces were cut too small. Like they were cut exact. Imagine trying to wrap a gift and they gave you exact amount, not no extra to cut off. So yeah, from there I decided I'd probably be better off just buying a new piece and swapping it out that way. So I ended up getting pissed off and ripping all the vinyl off. But the pieces I ordered is literally just the, the trim piece in black. Okay, so the tools you're gonna need, you're gonna need an auto trim removal kit, a box cutter, I would suggest you get a screwdriver with variable tips and something that you could use as a squeegee. And you're also gonna need a number uh, 10 millimeter socket. So the first thing we're gonna do is we need to remove these two screws. Well, not screws, but pin covers. The easy way to do this is take your uh, removal tool and get right under and lift. Get the kit in there. Get it good under, pull straight out. And make sure not to lose the part like I just did. Once you get the top piece out, slide underneath, pull the second piece out. There you go. Make sure to keep them together. Once you get those two pieces out, try to pry it a little loose. Be careful not to fuck your paint up. But really what we want to do is we want to just kind of grab this and pull straight. Cool. So I got it out. You know, be careful. There's like clips that go directly in, but should be pretty safe. Like I said, it pulls straight out. You want to then disconnect both of the lines in the back because you don't want to, you know, do this with everything hanging off. But uh, each clip should just more or less be like a little push pin kind of thing. So there's two ways you can do this. If you want, you can just yank the light bulbs out. You should just, not a yank, twist and pull and they should pop right out. Like case in point right here. Hard to do while holding the phone. Twist and pull. This one's connected, so I might have to pull that push pin. But what your real goal is, down here is like a little torque screw. And that and some double-sided tape is what's all is all that's holding this together. So you could, instead of taking the whole headlight out, just unscrew that and swap it out with the other part. So once you got the screw off, I decided not to take the whole housing off. Use your pry bar. You want to gradually pull this off. Do not snap this because, I mean, you might you might want to keep this. And there we had a piece off. You can see there's a lot of this leftover gunk. And here's the other piece that came off. You can see the other side of the double-sided tape. And that's, that's really what's holding on, double-sided tape. So we need to clean this gunk off. I'm just going to scrape it off and then probably hit it with some alcohol then put the new piece on. New piece is uh, same kind of thing going on. Black piece goes there, double-sided tape with a small screw to screw into. Now this part's pretty self-explanatory. Peel the 3M strip off. You're gonna fit it to the new piece. And you know, yeah, it should all just fit together real easy. And there we got it. New piece is on. Screw is back in place. All I gotta do is pop the light bulbs back in, pop the whole harness back in. It's that simple. Big difference already. Black on this side, chrome on this side, finna pop this one off, and then next we gotta do the uh, the trim that goes up top. So now we got both pieces on. We need to start working on the top. To do so, we need to pull this deck out. To pull, it should be a quick lift up and pop, but we'll see. So to get this off, what you really want to do is grab your trim removal kit, go around the corner, and as you go around, you should hear like it pop loose. Like if you keep kind of seeing this like a little tab, it's just going to pop loose as you do it. Be ready to catch this though, because it's going to hang by these lights and you don't want that to happen. So as you can see, the whole piece came off and it's hanging by the lights. So you want to go in there and twist and pull to remove those lights. I stand corrected. These come off quick disconnects. But yeah, put that off to the side. 
Okay, so what you want to do is you're going to get like four screws. One, two. Then on the inside, you should see three and four. You're going to want to remove them with, right now I'm using a 10 millimeter ratchet. Once the screws are out, let the lift gate down and this should pop, pretty much pop straight out. And it's the same thing as last time. Um, should be a screw somewhere. Where is it? Ah, there it goes. It's a little screw in there that you gotta try to find to get find a way to get out. So yeah, at this point my phone stopped recording, but the process is pretty much the same as you did before. Um, pull off the uh, 3M tape, add the new one, screw it back in, put everything back together. Now I gotta clean the carpet. Yeah, there we have it. Put everything back together. Got the back done. Now it's time to move on to the chrome sides. The same shit happened when I tried it on the side windows. It was like some parts would cut larger so you could actually wrap it like you should, and other parts would cut way too short. It was like, fuck it, bare minimum. And uh, yeah, ended up getting pissed off and ripping that whole thing apart. So what I'm gonna do in the next video is I'm gonna actually buy vinyl, just blank vinyl, and I'm just gonna wrap this shit manually. So yeah, stay tuned, man. More to come. Awesome. If you learned something, feel free to like and subscribe. You know, same old, same old. Thanks for watching.